got one pack of frozen strawberries with bananas. These are gonna go really well in a smoothie and Serena has been into smoothies these days. So I thought she might like that as a little change up. I got two boxes of brownie mix. Picked up one little bag of mini avocados. I got two bags of green onions four packages of their grass-fed ground beef, two packs of their organic chicken breasts. That I, we, I've never, I've not bought these before, but I got one pack of the frozen um, extra fine green beans. And then I got three of these little steamable broccoli florets. I got one loaf of sourdough bread. I love to buy their sourdough bread because it's convenient. They have minimal ingredients. Their ingredients are literally wheat flour, water, sea salt, and sourdough starter. So it's really great. And yes, I could make sourdough, but sometimes I just don't have the time and I like to keep that it for convenience. And then I'm just trying to restock our pasta sauce. So I got a few jars of the roasted garlic and then two of these tomato basil. And these, these are gonna go in our little food storage. And I just got a few of those. Something that I like to do to make sure my green onions stay fresher longer is I like to, you know, as soon as I get home, I get a couple, I get a wide mouth jar. It could be any kind of glass, a cup, um, anything that you have. It doesn't have to be this specific thing, but I just like the wide mouth. I just put a little bit of water in the bottom, just enough so that the roots, see at the bottom of the green onions, there's these roots, right? And so if you just put a little bit of water in the bottom of a glass or a cup or a jar or something like that, you can, they can still drink and they'll stay fresher longer and it's so cool. And then you can just cut as much as you need and this will grow back. It's pretty amazing. So if you don't know about this yet, um, you're welcome because this is awesome. And you just kind of, um, after every other day or so you rinse out the water and make it fresh and it's just so great also what i like to do is when when these are looking a little spent inside and they're you know there's really no more hope for them i cut them way down i cut them way down and i plant them outside of my planter box and they will grow out there still so um that's another That's just something else that I like to do as well. All right. And then for these, you can set them on your windowsill or just on your countertop somewhere. And I got two bunches. I really didn't need this much, but they were so cheap. They were like, I think 85 cents or 75 cents. I don't remember how much, but um, they were so affordable at Aldi today. And then I know we're going to need some for some recipes coming up, but I also really want to plant them in my garden box because I'm ready for some more greenery out there. Anyway. Here you go. Dinner tonight is chili. Now this is my favorite chili seasoning. I've tried a few other ones, but I always really just prefer McCormick. Although I am thinking about making like a homemade chili seasoning. If you have a good one, I would love it if you would leave it down below because I really do want to make it myself, but this is my favorite. So if you have one that's comparable to McCormick, let me know down below. Okay, um, I have three packs of chili seasoning here because I have three packs of ground beef that I'm starting to brown in the pan. I've got two cans of diced tomatoes. This one is in tomato juice, and this one is actually fire roasted diced tomatoes. I'm also going to dice up this fresh green bell pepper and this Vidalia onion. All right. If I had sweet potatoes and if I had zucchini, I would put those in too. I love adding those vegetables whenever I make chili, but I don't have those tonight and the kids requested chili. So um, this is gonna be a basic recipe and it's gonna be real good. Now on top, we usually dice, we'll usually slice up some black olives to put on top. We also have sour cream and shredded cheese. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new, my name is Beth and today's video is just a simple recipe of how I make chili when we're in the mood for chili. This is one of our go-to family meals. And for the longest time, we were like a low carb. We ate low carb several years ago. And for the longest time, I went without making chili because typically chili does call for beans. And then one day I was like, oh my gosh, what if I just 
didn't put the beans in. So that's usually how I make chili now is without beans, although every now and then I will. This recipe is so simple and you can really add or omit anything that you like, whatever works best for your family. I really appreciate you being here today. I hope you enjoy the video and it would mean so much to me if you would be sure that you like this comment, give a little thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you join our YouTube family. Thank you for being here today. Something else that I like to add to my chili is also ground sausage. And we usually just use um, like Jimmy Dean's breakfast sausage, just the regular flavor. But um, I don't have that tonight either. So we're just doing a plain old ground beef, but that's also a really good addition if you think you might like that flavor profile. It's really good. It just adds a little something something to your chili. I drained most of the extra grease out from this ground beef and now I'm going to add in the peppers and onions. All right, I'm just going to give this a quick stir, get it all combined. Next we're going to add the seasoning packets. And I feel like this seasoning packet recipe used to call for water to be added, but it doesn't say it on the back of this unless I'm just not reading right. It says just to add the tomatoes undrained. So that's what we're gonna do. It really doesn't say to add water. That's different, that's new. I haven't bought that in a while. So maybe they changed their recipe recently, I don't know. All right, one can of fire roasted. I might add some water anyway, y'all. We're, we're gonna see about that, I don't know. And then one can of just plain old diced tomatoes. I'm gonna give that a stir and we'll see what it looks like. Oh yeah, we're gonna need some water. So what I'm gonna do, I am gonna fill up the diced tomato can with water a couple times. I don't mind if there's like if too much water too much water gets added because um you know i like to simmer it with the lid off and some of that water will cook off and this looks really good all right i'm gonna kick it up a little bit to medium high we're gonna bring it to a boil it smells so good already let me show you what we got Here's what it's looking like so far. Smells incredible. And I think I'm gonna leave the beans out this time. I really like the way that black beans look in chili. I think it adds a nice color. I also really love pinto beans and I can them myself at home and they're always so tasty. But I think this time we're just gonna go with meat and veg. Keep it simple. Olivia rolled up some Pillsbury Crescents. We put them in the oven. They've got 12 minutes and we're just gonna let this keep simmering for that long. It's cooking down really well. I've got the olives pre-sliced. And for our other toppings, we've got, um, we're gonna finish up this sour cream. So we've got a fresh sour cream, some jalapenos. These are my fave. Actually, this jar actually is a little spicier than normal. We've got some fresh cilantro and some shredded cheese. This is gonna be so good. And the kids are starving, so I hope these 12 minutes Go by fast. Alrighty, these are done. Looking all toasty, woasty, and delicious. Got those sit right there. And let's serve up some chili. Oh, the smell amazing. That's very hot. Don't touch it. Why don't you tell our friends what you're gonna put on top of your chili today, Serene? Well, I'm gonna have a, a croissant, some sour cream, cheese, and olives. 
No jalapenos today. No jalapenos. I don't really like jalapenos. Oh man. I no think mistake. <laughs> Robbie will probably I'm making Robbie's and he usually likes cheese and sour cream. And that's about it. He doesn't even like crescents. <gasps> he doesn't like crescents? No, he doesn't like bread. I don't have the answers, guys. I don't know. This is amazing. And a croissant. I know these are called crescents, but I like to call them a croissant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Robbie, you wanna tell the channel hi? Hi. You're ready. A little warm, so hold it on the top part, okay? What is it? Chili. Apple? Just regular mom's chili? Yes, it's good. It's good. On my chili, I've got shredded cheese, sour cream, jalapenos, olives, and fresh cilantro, which we normally don't have, but it's one of my favorite things, so I definitely added some to the top. Looking good. Thank you so much for adding a dash of gratitude to your day, and I will see you on the next video.